dear students welcome to this session in the previous session we were dealing with how to reduce quadratic form to canonical form where the eigen values are distinct or non repeated in today's session we are going to deal how to reduce the quadratic form to canonical form when you get a repeated eigen values it is going to be simple those who watch the video how to find the eigen vectors for the repeated eigen values in a symmetric matrix is the same thing but i took a different problem here uh, where you do some errors in eigen vectors so the intention of this video is to correct the students where they do mistakes in the eigen vectors let us see this problem first the problem is given in terms of x square y square and z square so it is x y z or the variables usually we have variables x1 x2 x3 so now you can convert the problem into x1 x2 x3 as like this if you are feeling tough or you can directly deal this also because x y z i can give the numbering 1 2 and 3 so it is very easy you can put the values 1 1 2 2 3 3 1 3 as the positions and you can easily construct the matrix now you see 1 1 position 2 6 2 diagonal elements gets over i have only 1 3 position that is 8 so 50% of this is 4 remaining elements are zero now the matrix a is ready next we have to find the characteristic equation so we did a lot of problems already in our previous videos so i am directly calculating s1 s2 s3 here without explanations my s1 is 10 s2 is 12 and s3 is minus 72 now go to the calculator find the eigen values those who don't watch go and watch the eigen value shortcut tricks using calculator video then come back here from the playlist so once you enter into the calculator it will give the value x1 minus 2 x2 6 then it will go for a again that means there is no third eigen value which is distinct so my third eigen value is also 6 so my eigen values are minus 2 6 6 next we are going to find the eigen vectors so for this i will write the matrix a minus lambda i into x is equal to 0 from this i am finding equation 1 now it's time to substitute each eigen value in this equations to find the eigen vectors first we take lambda equal to minus 2 and it is not necessary it's your choice but i am doing first non repeated then i will deal with repeated eigen values so when you put lambda equal to minus 2 you will be getting 4 8 four remaining values are same now you see the first and third equations are same if i took this i'll be getting my eigen vector 0 0 0 if all your values are zero your mark is also zero so you should not do this so i have to take two distinct equations i am taking equation 1 and 2 now solving this 1 and 2 we we'll use the data 2 3 1 2 write the coefficients here for equation 1 0 4 4 0 and equations 2 8 0 0 8 then find the determinant for this it is going to be very easy 0 minus 32 0 0 32 minus 0 so i can rewrite this as eigen vector 1 0 1 1 1 this is also correct or if you write minus 1 0 1 1 that is also correct because we said eigen value will have in fine definitely many eigen vectors so the first eigen vector is done now let us go for the second eigen vector when you put lambda equal to 6 it will be getting minus 4 0 minus 4 now you see this is very important the second equation is completely zero i cannot take it and when we see my equation 1 and 2 they are exactly same only they differ by in minus so if you multiply a negative sign on both sides equation 1 and 3 are same so as we said in the repeated eigen values video if two equations are same we have to make some elements zero but in this problem we should be very careful why i am going to see my equation 1 and 3 already there is one element coefficient is zero so now if you put x1 zero then it leads to some error if your equations for example all the elements are non zero then i can make either x1 0 or x2 0 or x3 0 in our problem we see already one coefficient is zero that is x2 coefficient so you don't want to do anything so just take the equation 
as it is. Now I am writing minus 4x1 equal to minus 4x3. So 4, 4 get cancelled. I will get directly x1 by 1 is equal to x3 by 1. So my Second eigenvector is 1, 0, 1. Next, we are going for the third eigenvector. Since the matrix is symmetric matrix, we have to do orthogonal transformation. All the eigenvectors are mutually orthogonal. So, I am going to take x3 is A, B, C and I know the results. This x3 is orthogonal to x1 and x2. So, we have this result. Now, we know our x1, x2. So, let us find the new equations. So, x1 transpose x3 0 and x2 transpose x3 0. I can write the new equation as a plus 0b plus c equal to 0. Here, a plus 0b minus c equal to 0. Again, we use the code solving these two equations, not the third. We will be getting the coefficients 0, 1, 1, 0 and then 0, minus 1, 1, 0. Now we find the values for A, B, C. When you take the determinant, here it is 0. Then 1, minus of minus 1, plus 1, 0. So therefore, my third eigenvector is 0, 1, 0. So my eigenvectors are done. Now I am going for the model matrix. I have to check whether the eigenvectors are mutually orthogonal or not. So now you take this. I can see 1 plus 0 minus 1. It is going to be 0. Similarly, I will check the next two eigenvectors. 0 plus 0 plus 0. So, this is also 0. And finally, the first and third eigenvector. 0 plus 0 plus 0. So, all the eigenvectors are mutually perpendicular. We see the smiley. Now, write down the eigenvectors and corresponding normalized eigenvectors. We know the eigenvalues are 1 minus 1. So, the denominator is going to be root 2. If we divide, we will be getting n1. Similarly, for lambda equal to 6, x2 and corresponding n2 and x3 and corresponding n3. Now, we write the normalized modal matrix from the table. Once you write the normalized modal matrix, you can go for the n transpose. And the next step, write n transpose a n and I said we don't want to multiply. Go to the table and write the eigenvalues in the proper order. My first eigenvalue is 2, second is 6, third is 6 and then remaining all the half diagonal elements are 0 and this is my capital D. This process is called as diagonalization process. If your exam problem says diagonalize the matrix, then stop here. If they ask only eigenvalue, eigenvectors, stop before the modal matrix. If they tell you to find or reduce quadratic form to canonical form, do the forecoming steps. And due to the property orthogonal transformation, the x can be represented as n y, where n is the normalized modal matrix. And I am going to assume y as y1, y2, y3. Now, we know the quadratic form is x transpose ax, substitute x equal to ny and we know ab whole transpose is b transpose a transpose. Substituting the result, we know this is going to be my diagonal matrix D. So, I can directly write this as y transpose dy. Simplifying this, we will write directly minus 2y1 square, 6y2 square and 6y3 square. This is my canonical form. So, next we have to find the nature, index, rank and signature for the given quadratic form. So, we take the eigenvalues into the account. All the three eigenvalues are non-zero. So, rank is 3 and we have two positive eigenvalues. So, index is 2 and the number of positive eigenvalues is 2 and negative eigenvalue is 1. When I take the difference between them, my signature is 1 and we have one negative eigenvalue and one positive eigenvalue. So, I don't want to worry about the third one. I will say the nature immediately as indefinite. Hope you understand students. These two problems is enough to make you face the exam with confidence. Good luck. Do the exams well. Share this video to your friends. Subscribe our channel. Post your comments. Click your like. See you in the next video.